In the small town of my childhood, there was a legend that at midnight, if you stared into the eyes of a goat, you could see the souls of the departed. One night, seizing the moment when my grandparents were asleep, I quietly slipped into the goat pen. Our family's pen housed seven or eight goats, and it was my responsibility to tend to and feed them daily. As I entered the pen, the goats gathered around me. I chose a doe with large, bright eyes, but she seemed reluctant to meet my gaze, always trying to turn her head away. I grasped her neck to keep her still and stared intently into her eyes. Suddenly, I saw a figure reflected in the doe's eyes, a person with a bowed head and indistinct features, but whose silhouette reminded me of my Uncle Ed. Just as I was trying to get a clearer view of the figure, my grandfather's voice startled me from behind, demanding to know why I was in the goat pen instead of sleeping. His shout not only frightened me, but also scattered the goats. Reluctantly leaving the pen, I returned home. My grandmother questioned why I had gone to the pen, to which I replied that I wanted to see the goat's eyes. Both grandparents dismissed my actions as nonsense. However, when I confessed that I had seen Uncle Ed, my grandfather became visibly upset, even striking me and accusing me of cursing the family. Fortunately, my grandmother intervened in time. Uncle Ed was the pride of our family, attending university in the city, with the goats primarily supporting his education expenses. The mere suggestion of misfortune befalling him enraged my grandfather. The next day, Uncle Ed unexpectedly returned home early, soaking wet as if he had just climbed out of the river. Our village had an old suspension bridge that was easy to slip from, but since most villagers could swim, it rarely posed a life-threatening danger. Uncle Ed explained that his job plans had fallen through and school was on break, leaving him no choice but to return home. Grandfather showed disappointment at Uncle Ed's return, seeing it as a failure to secure a proper job and opting to come back instead. This affected Uncle Ed's mood. That evening, Uncle Ed didn't join us for dinner. Despite my grandmother's attempts to call him out, he didn't respond. Later, deep into the night, I heard Uncle Ed talking to himself, claiming he was a male goat and conversing with goats. I saw his shadow under the moonlight transform into the shape of a standing goat. A chill ran down my spine as I widened my eyes in shock my hand covering my mouth. I was grateful that my uncle was looking towards the east room of our house, his back to me, not seeing me. Just as I was about to crouch down, I noticed a male goat staring at me with a smug, sinister look, as if it had been watching me for a long time. The goat moved closer to my uncle, muttering something, and then my uncle suddenly turned to look at me with horizontal pupils,